Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to make a dramatic image using the bleach bypass and then a series of local adjustments. So this is what we are going to hopefully recreate. And then this is where we're going to start. I'm gonna tap on original. As you can see, this was a very wide shot. I was pretty far away from the animal at the zoo, but first thing we're gonna do is hit the letter C. We're gonna crop this in. We're just going to pull this in all the way up until about there. We'll pull in from the corners here as well. And we will bring this down and put them about there. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And this gives us our image. All right. Now I was shooting this with a Canon uh, EOS R, which has 30 megapixels. So I can crop in pretty decent. Still wouldn't like to crop in as much as I did, but uh, as far as I was in the lens that I had, this is just what we got. So keep that in mind when you are out and about making your own images. I'm not doing anything inside of the develop module. All right, I'm gonna go to effects, hit add filter, and then I'm going to hit bleach bypass. The bleach bypass, for very simple terms. This is just adding like uh, a lot of contrast and giving you some um, really good control over how you affect or impact the image. Now, what I'm gonna do is increase the amount of this because I want this to be a, a fairly dramatic image and this is how I get a lot of my dramatic photos. Then I'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit and what this is doing is really darkening all of these little fine details around the edge here uh, and making the photo pop, all right? And then I'm also going to increase the saturation just a little bit to uh, make these faux rocks or these fake rocks that the monkey is sitting on in, or bamboo, uh, bamboo, baboon, uh, I think that's what this is. Can't remember. Anyway, I just want those faux rocks to start uh, showing and, uh, you know, get the color and the texture to come out on those. So now that I have that, we'll jump over to our local adjustments. And the first adjustment I want to make is actually to brighten up the area that the uh, animal is sitting in. So the way that I'm going to do that, I'm going to reset exposure and I'm going to increase this just a little bit. It doesn't need a whole lot. I'm gonna go a third of a stop there, and then I'm gonna hit the letter M on my keyboard so I can get my masking bug, and I don't want linear right, I want strong. I'm gonna tap right there in the center, uh, or on the subject, but as you can see, it's impacting the outside, so I am going to come back up here, hit edges, and that's going to bring my adjustment on the inside. Now, I need to shrink this down to fit him or her, it. I'm gonna rotate the, uh, the adjustment here, and then I'm going to spread this out. Now, I want this to be fairly large, all right? The feather, I want this to be fairly large, and I'm actually going to increase this a lot. Now. This is going to look pretty bad right now. Maybe I'll go there. All right. But don't worry. It's going to uh, come together and we can always come back and readjust. So I'm going to rename this. We'll go ahead and call that subject Brighton. We'll add another adjustment. And this time we're going to do the opposite. We are going to decrease everything around here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my masking bug one more time. I'm gonna click on the subject, and this time I'm getting the effect that I want. So what I'm going to do is click and drag all the way down. I want this to be smaller than the uh, area that I made before, and you'll see why here in a second. Now I'm gonna feather this a little bit, but I still want it to be smaller, and it's okay if it's in a different direction than the last radial adjustment that I made, because, and, I, I know that there's a halo going on or a circle that's going on around uh, the animal right now. And that's what I want. 
But what I want to do now is come over here to the structure and I'm just going to decrease that and look at how that just brings the attention right into the subject focus. Uh, and that's what I want. And then I'm going to bring down the blacks a little bit and that's going to help make this turn into a vignette uh, type thing. Now, I'm going to hit the letter B on my keyboard so I can get the brush. I'm going to make my brush size a little bit larger. Now, I am using a Wacom tablet uh, and I have my opacity turned up to 93. It could be at 100 right now, but if I were to uh, come over here, you can see that I have pressure adjust opacity. And what that's going to allow me to do is I can paint away this mask with uh, a little bit of precision. And it's going to allow me to make some pretty cool adjustments that it doesn't look like this little halo is going on around uh, our subject here. So I'm just going to paint and, you know, make the, the lighting a little bit more dynamic and this is the reason why I wanted that to be a little bit smaller than the subject uh, or my radio filter I wanted that to be a little bit smaller than my subject because it's going to allow me to do things like this now I, I'm also changing the size of my brush and that's just gonna help me with a little bit of uh, like making it a little bit more organic, right? So if I hit the letter O, you can see that I painted in or painted away uh, some of the adjustment here, 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 and it doesn't matter, no rhyme or reason, right? No rhyme or reason. Now, if that was too much, all I have to do is come over to the mask and I can feather this, and this is going to help make that adjustment a little bit more natural. It'll blend a little bit better. And if I turn this off and on, you'll see that there's a huge difference. And we're just starting to get that light uh, hitting here, and it makes it look a little bit more interesting. There's no right or wrong way of doing this, by the way. All right, so to make sure that we keep everything tidy. We'll go ahead and rename this and we'll call this darken. Okay. Now we're going to add one more or another adjustment. This adjustment is going to be specific for our subject. So I'm going to reset that, increase the exposure just a little bit. I like to add contrast and structure and then I'm going to make my brush smaller and I'm going to zoom in so I can work right with inside our subject here and I'm just going to start painting to give some more uh, interest and you know clarity and everything else that we need for our subject to really stand out. So as you can see, I didn't paint everything on my subject. I left some areas unpainted, like right here on his uh, belly, left that unpainted, right? I wanted to create a little bit of dimension with him. So if I turn this off and on, you can see that there's areas that just pop, right? And that's what you want to do or I would recommend you do. You do what you want with your own photos. So now what I'm noticing is this is too, there's too much attention on this front rock and I wanna make that less bright. So what I'm gonna do is adjust the highlights on that. I don't wanna mess with the exposure. I just wanna bring down the highlights. And again, uh, I'll bring my opacity probably up to about 40% or 46 is where I landed and I'm gonna zoom in so it's a little bit easier for me to work in this area maybe that's too much yeah this will be good bring my brush size down and I'm just going to start brushing along this edge to bring down the highlights in this area because 
Uh, I need it to be bright. I just don't need it to be as bright as it is. Maybe even touch up in these areas here. Uh, come over there. So, and it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, I'm probably putting more, or I am putting more of my attention right here in this area. Let's hit O, all right. Let's go ahead and back out. And I'll show you the before and after of that, just so you can see where that, uh, that adjustment is really impacting. Okay, so with a zoomed in, you can see it's a very subtle adjustment, but it helps with pulling our eye into the subject and making the photo come together a little bit more. All right, we're gonna go ahead and zoom out. This is the before. There's, it's all dark around our subject here. And then we'll hit the backslash key. And this is the after. And I'm pulling out the detail. So let me know what you think about this photo editing technique in the comment section below. Is this something you would use? Is this something that you would never use? Either way, it's perfectly fine. Just want to share this with you. If you found value in the video, smash the like button. If you want to see more content, consider subscribing. Don't forget to check the bell icon so you get notified whenever I release new content. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.